like we are the only ones that made it in today. We are very short-staffed. I think we should ask the theorists to help out on the floor. Florence Nightingale, we are so happy to have you today. I don't know what we would have done without your help. I would have it no other way. The patients cannot go without care, Francine. You know how important it is to have a healthy environment to recuperate in. There is no excuse for an unkempt room. Oh yes, I do know how important a clean environment is to healing. Oh my, oh my, this will never do. Oh my goodness, this place is a mess. I don't know what the night staff was thinking. Good heavens, a spider web. Here's a broom. I'll take care of that right away. Let's get you cleaned up. Oh my, you look like you need some help too. Let's get rid of this. Now that your environment is clean, you can start healing. I will have someone come clean your floors and bring you a new chair. Well, that was a fiasco. I feel better already. That Florence sure knows what she is talking about. Hi, I'm Richard. I am going to replace the chair and wash your floor. The condition of that room was unacceptable. Those poor gentlemen were suffering needlessly in that filth. Did you notice how much better they look already? Oh, Florence, I did notice. In the future, I will remember to start with a healthy environment. Hello, Paul. My name is Louisa. I'll be your nurse today. Hello, Louisa. My day was okay, I guess. I sure do want to go home. I understand you want to go home, but you only had surgery on your knee yesterday, Paul. Do you mind if another nurse helps me with your care today? Sure. Bring her in. Paul, this is Jean Watson. Hello, Paul. It is nice to meet you. I hope we have time to form a meaningful relationship. Let us connect with you. How is that going to help me with my knee pain and getting me home? Well, Paul, if you can share with me your pain level on a scale from 0 to 10, I can help make it more tolerable. My pain is a 6. It really is aching. Paul, here's your pain meds. They should help you feel better soon. Thank you, Louisa. Laying down seems to help a little bit as well. Trusting your nurse is the first step in healing. Telling her your pain level helps the nurse meet your basic needs. Paul, don't be afraid to express any positive or negative feelings you may have, as that helps the nurse better understand your needs and connect with you. I will come back shortly to see if your pain is better. Please press your call bell if you need me. Do you have any other questions? No. I don't have any questions right now. Thanks. Louisa. Let's reflect on what just happened with your patient, Paul. How could you have connected more spiritually with him? Well, I could have been more authentically present, by honoring and respecting him more as an individual. Yes, and remember to always allow yourself to be open to miracles. Well, Mr. Wilson, it looks like your blood transfusion is almost complete. How are you feeling? I am fine. Thanks. Good afternoon. My name is Rosano. I'm here to help out. This is completed. Let me just silence it and turn it off. Wonderful. Let's get you back to bed, Mr. Wilson, nice and comfortable. You do have some more blood work and tests this afternoon. I feel like I am constantly stuck to machines and wires. There are so many tests. It is getting frustrating. <laughs> 
I can imagine that after five days all of the tests can become quite bothersome, one of the tools we use to care for our patients holistically, is technology. Just like with you, Mr. Wilson. I'm sorry that my back is to you right now, I am just updating your chart. This should only take a minute and then you will have my full attention. Maybe if you got some rest, that might make you feel better Mr. Wilson. Okay thank you. I'm sorry for being cranky. I know you are just trying to help. The call bell is beside your right hand, just push it if you need anything. Authentically knowing the patient and caring for them is understanding their uniqueness and not just the empirical facts about them. Yes, of course, it's my job as a nurse to make sure I know how to use the technology competently. But, more importantly, that it brings me closer to my patients, creating a therapeutic relationship rather than causing a distance between us. Good job, Jill. Betty, I really like your theory on holistic nursing based on stressors in the patient's environment. Yes, Kaylee. People often underestimate the effect stress can cause in a person's internal and external environment. Good afternoon, Mrs. Shahid. This is Betty Newman, and she is helping me today. Oh, my. Mrs. Shahid, you look like you are experiencing some stress. There is so much going on. I am overwhelmed. Why don't we sit you up and we can talk about it? You've started your antibiotics for your pneumonia, but we want you to stay in the hospital for at least another day to monitor for asthma attacks, which is what brought you here. I know. I am worried because my husband is at home alone with our three children, and I am still breastfeeding our baby. He is not taking the bottle. What is he going to do if I have to stay here another night to make matters worse? I am so tired and cannot sleep. My roommate and her visitors are so loud. My goodness, Mrs. Shahid. You certainly have a lot on your plate. In some circumstances, we don't restrict visiting hours, so if your husband needs to come to feed the baby, that's fine, he can come anytime. All of this extra stress is making it difficult for your body systems to regain energy and move toward wellness. I will speak with your roommate also. Thank you. Even just talking about everything seems to have helped a little bit. Doris, I noticed you have cookies and pop at your bedside. Both of these are going to act as stressors to your internal system and diminish your lines of defense. I know it is not good for my diabetes. My family just left it there from earlier. It's wonderful that your family and friends come to visit, but you must remember to be considerate of your roommate. Oh, I didn't realize they were bothering Mrs. Shahid. I will try to keep them quieter. Mrs. Shahid is a perfect example of how interventions would strengthen system lines of defense to protect against stressors in one's environment. Exactly, Kaylee. Prevention as intervention is the key. Hope you enjoyed our presentation. Thanks for watching.